Good day, boys and girls. We're back again today. We're going to talk about a very famous actor right across the world. And as part of our Northern Ireland 100, we're talking about people, places, locations. We're going to go to Balamina. Do you all know where Balamina is? Where's Balamina? You've got uh, Balamina right here. And a wee boy grew up in Balamina, went to school in Balamina, and now he lives in America as a world renowned. Uh, actor, and we're going to learn something about his life, Liam Neeson. Let's sing a song in the meantime. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you spell hallelujah? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's go to Balamina and learn about the wee boy called Liam Neeson, or William Neeson, his name actually was. Does anyone recognize where I am? Seven Tars Roundabout, County Antrim. It's a town of Balamina. Quite a common town. You would pass this often on your way to uh, Port Rouse, Port Stewart, up to the port. You'd have to come to this roundabout. Very busy roundabout, constantly flowing with traffic, coming from every angle, heading to Coleraine, into Ballymena, or out by uh, Tomb Bridge. But Ballymena today, we're going to be talking about a little boy who was born in Ballymena. He's one of the most famous actors you'll ever come across today, and his name is Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson uh, is worth $145 million. Uh, not bad for a Ballymena boy. And he's world renowned all over the world for being a famous actor. Now, his name was William John Neeson. But when he went to school, he was nicknamed uh, Liam, short for William. So therefore, Liam Neeson. At nine years old, he went to primary school, nine years old. Um, he joined a boxing club till he was 17. He thought maybe in life that might help him in his action-packed film, where he would often fight a lot. He also loved to play football, but uh, never developed careers in either football or boxing. But he went to school, he got different jobs. He was a forklift driver, a truck driver, worked in different shops. And then he went to study. He also in high school, he liked to act a lot. It seemed to be in him, he liked to act a lot. and never really thought much about it. But one day while he was acting, uh, the first uh, breakthrough for him, he was acting in a, in a film called The Pilgrim's Progress. That's actually a Christian themed film. May I help you, Pilgrim? I have been watching you. You seem very troubled. I am very troubled. This book tells me of a great judgment coming down from heaven. I tried to warn my wife and children, my friends and neighbors, but they wouldn't listen to me. The judgment of which you speak is true. You are wise to heed the warning. Let me introduce myself. My name is Evangelist. And while he was there, he was noticed, his voice and his action, there's something about him, and he was picked out, given opportunities to develop down in Dublin. And then, of course, he, was, he went to America. He's got a British passport, an Irish passport, and an American passport. He also lived in England for a while, but he's renowned for living in, in, in America, for becoming a famous actor. 
And whenever he was young, it, it says he would go to church, uh, churches to hear preachers preach. One of those preachers he went to hear was Ian Paisley. Ian Paisley grew up here um, many years ago and he was a great preacher. He was renowned for having a great orator, a great uh, uh, thumping voice, and people who would listen to him were amazed at his voice. He was very dynamic, very deep, and very simple at the same time. And he would be amazed at this man preaching, and he would he would say he was a great actor, but yet he spoke with great meaning as he spoke. So all these people influenced him greatly as a child and as a young person. Then he went to America, and now he's famous for his roles in Hollywood all over America. He's one of the most prominent actors today. At the moment, he's almost 70 years old. He's quite old, um, but in his day, he was certainly brilliant and a great uh, representative of Northern Ireland as far as acting goes, making Northern Ireland famous on the world for producing actors. That's Liam Neeson. But whenever I thought about his legacy, his life, and growing up in Ballymena, Ballymena is also known as a Bible Belt of Northern Ireland because it's got so many churches and so many opportunities for people to hear and to learn about God. And I thought, you know, whenever you think about acting, there, it's easy to act like a Christian. It's easy to act uh, in, in front of people, to behave like a Christian. It's easy to act. In other words, whenever you think of actors, many of them dress, dress up to look like an actor. If they're going to be a sailor, they're going to dress like a sailor. If they're going to be a cook, they're going to dress like a cook. If they're going to be a soldier, they're going to dress like a soldier. So by looking at Liam Neeson's film, he's an action man. He's one of my favorite actors. I love action movies. And whenever he's uh, acting in a movie, if he's going to be a soldier, he dresses like a soldier soldier, like a captain, he dresses like a captain, or if, he, if he's in jail, he dresses like a jailer. He dresses according to suit the movie. And so many people, it's easy to dress as a Christian. But remember, an actor is an actor. It's not the real thing. And whenever you act out being a Christian, remember, it's not the real thing. Many people want, they love, children love to act, they love to play, they love to perform, they love school programs, school carol services, or, or children's day, whatever. But actors, it's not real. Whenever you watch wrestling and these big bodybuilders throwing each other around, it's not real. They're professional stuntmen. And we must remember that. Models, for example, that the way they act, the way they walk, the way they look, it's not real life. It's the way they look because they're actors. And boys and girls, sometimes we can be intimidated by actors because we think that's the way you have to be in life to succeed. Liam Neeson's life was very, very normal. It's because he was able to be promoted and to be able to recognize, and he was now promoted to America to find himself in blockbuster movies. That's how he's made his fortune. That's how he became famous. But in his childhood and teenage years, he was just a normal boy going to school, getting normal jobs, trying hard at learning. He studied um, physics and computers and science. That's where he planned to go, but yet he, he ended up being an actor. So remember, but being a Christian, so many people act it out. They go to church acting it out, dress a Christian, singing like a Christian, behaving like a Christian, but that does not make you a Christian. That's acting like a Christian because a Christian is someone who's got the real thing, the real McCoy, and that's the Lord Jesus living in their heart and their sins all washed away. So on the outside, God says, I don't care what you look like on the outside. He said, people, man looks on the outside, but I look in the heart. And he says, little children, Give me your heart. And whenever you give the Lord Jesus Christ your heart, you give him your life. And you don't have to act being a Christian. You can actually live it out to the full and really enjoy, really enjoy it. Life is not a performance. You have only one chance at life. Therefore, make it count for God. Whenever people are acting, they have to practice and rehearse and practice and rehearse, going over scripts, going over their words, going over their, their falls, their performance to, to perfect it. But the Christian life is not, it's not something you need to perfect. It's something you need to live. And, and, and live it out every single day. And yes, just like an actor, they make mistakes and they forget words. In the Christian life, you're going to forget words. You're going to for, for your, you're going to feel God. You're going to let God down. But you have to pick yourself up and keep going on. The real breakthrough that came for Liam Neeson was acting in Schindler's List. 
that's a film that was made about saving the Jewish people at the time of the war and his factory he would employ lots of the Jewish people and therefore because they came and worked for him they did not have to go to the concentration camps and ultimately ultimately be killed and he became famous from that role playing Schildner in Schildner's List and from that moment on he became a famous actor. My plant manager is somewhere on this train. If it leaves with him on it, it'll disrupt production and the armaments board will want to know why. Is he on the list? Yes, sir. It's a stern. Well, the list is correct, sir. There's nothing I can do. What is your name? My name? My name is Kunda. Hauptstadt here, Kunda. K U N. And what's yours? Schindler. S C H I N D L E R. Gentlemen, thank you very much. I think I can guarantee you, you'll both be in southern Russia before the end of the month. Stern! The director. <coughs> My apologies. Stop the train! I apologize. He's here! Stop the train! Stop the train! <laughs> Sign here, initial there. But here, five minutes later, then where would I be? And I thought about that very, that very movie. When you research it about the Jewish people, they were God's chosen people. Right throughout the Bible, you can read about the Jewish people from Israel, God's chosen people. The Liam Nation in that film was trying to save the people from death. It's a wonderful lesson. You can draw so many lessons relating it right back to God. So whatever you aim to do in life, aim to do it well. But don't forget about God. And I think of William Nation. He was privileged as a boy in Ballymena to hear about God, to hear the gospel, the good news, the Bible stories that you can hear today. What he done with them, I don't know. But they say he, it helped him decide his future. So whenever he listened to preachers, again, Paisley, it says it helped him decide his, pre his future for being an actor. But when I think of the words a preacher would say about Jesus, and seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. That's the advice I give to you, the message of the preacher, the message of the Bible to seek God first. Early in life, God says, seek me and you'll, you'll find me whenever you seek me with all your heart. Therefore, you don't have to live your life searching for contentment, for happiness, for becoming a millionaire. Whenever you receive Christ, he gives you perfect satisfaction. And boys and girls, the best time to seek the Lord Jesus to find him, to serve him, to live for him, is whenever you're a little boy or girl at primary school age and you can live your whole life out for God. So I think of Liam Neeson, brilliant actor, professional actor. He's got everything most people would ever desire to have in life. But at the end of the day, if you met him in the street, met him in a car, met him walking, met him climbing, he's just a normal man growing old like everybody else. And all the money in the world that you earn, remember, you'll never take it with you. You'll never take it with you. The moment you die, you just leave this world as you were born with absolutely nothing. But one thing you can leave with, and that's the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart. If you leave this world with him in your heart, it means you'll go to be with him forever in heaven. That's a type of life ambition I'm after, living and pleasing God. So that was a story about from Ballymena how someone just a normal, a normal boy at school can potentially be, a, be do whatever he's able and wants to do if the gift is within him and you're prepared to practice and develop it. That's about William or Liam Neeson and now let's sing a song only a boy called David. Just a wee shepherd boy yet he became a champion for God. i
future. And one little storm went into the sling, and the sling went round and round. And one little storm went into the sling, and the sling went round and round. And round and round and round and round and round and round and round. And one little plan went out to God, and the giant came tumbling down. Giant Goliath, a famous story. That's all for today. Whatever you do, knuckle down and learn as much as from school as you possibly can today. See you. Yeah.